February 10th, 2019. Well, well, well. I just put out a video on uh, how to design a ram pump. One thing I talked about in there was when the pressure chamber gets saturated, you'll end up with a surging effect and much higher water volume delivery. Now I should mention this is probably about 10 or 15 feet above the pump's elevation. This is not up at the high elevation. But I can tell you a similar effect happens when the pressure chamber is waterlogged. So this is what you'll get instead of a nice smooth flow when your pressure chamber is waterlogged. So I, what I'll do is I'll go down and I'll shut off the pressure chamber or shut off the pump, drain the pressure chamber. We'll take you through that process and then we'll come back and look at the output here before I reconnect these fittings back up to the uh, barn reservoir and the greenhouse. And then you'll have a, a comparison example between a saturated water chamber or saturated pressure chamber and a uh, properly air cushioned pressure chamber. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that'll help you. So here we are back at the ram pump. I'll just let you have a listen to that. It is still running fully saturated right now. And it's harder to tell uh, with a well anchored pump. Uh, but with a not well anchored pump, you'll see all these fittings and your drive pipe and everything start to really jump around a lot. Anyway, we'll set it off and bleed it out. So, a few things you got to do for that. You've got to shut off water supply to the pump, and you've got to shut off the output and open up the output to allow water out and fresh air in. So we'll start by shutting the output off. We'll dump the valve open. And you can see that kills the pump. But I don't have a shutoff valve right in front of my pump. So we'll go back up here quickly. on the standpipe and flip the bypass. This is also nice to give you a flush in between operations. And you can see we're pulling a solid 40 gallons a minute there. It fills that five gallon bucket, which has all sorts of holes in the bottom of it, including some big ones, in literally in seconds. Okay. So I didn't catch it when I shut it down, uh, unfortunately. But uh, what you'll hear is the air bubbling back up in if you don't have a bladder in there. Or if you do and the bladder's burst as the water drains out because you're letting air in through this valve and the water out. You're providing a relief for that water to drain. You'll usually hear it bubbling and guggling as it goes down. And then once this valve stops dripping, your chamber is open. You probably should give it a couple of taps just to make sure that there isn't water kind of locked up in there. And then now we'll close that valve. And because we already have some pressure on the system, we'll dump that pressure back in so the pump will start right back up. And you'll also hear the water come back into the pressure chamber. I'll shut off the uh, bypass valve and we'll start back up. Okay, so uh, valve's closed. We got, uh, I dumped the pressure open, I showed you that. And uh, now we're gonna just turn the pump back on and we should be able to hear a difference, I would think. Oh yeah. There's just uh, less chatter to it. We're pumping again. And we'll go take a look now. You'll see that that surging is going. Okay, still uh, still surging a little bit, but uh, less pronounced. And uh, I may have a slight pressure chamber leak. I'll have to look into that. But right now we're pumping water. 
pump sounds okay, we're going to go ahead and send it. Plug it in, send it up top. All right, hope you've uh, found this informative or useful. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Questions and comments below.